Hello people of the internet, my name is The Game Warrior, and welcome back today to another Call of Duty 2015 video. Thank you all for the support you have been giving me on my videos here recently. Over the course of the past few weeks, I have been bringing you all the newest info concerning the upcoming Call of Duty release, and you all have been loving it. So, starting off this video today, guys, I am asking you to please click on that like button. Doing so helps my videos get noticed by more people in the community, and it helps my channel grow even further. The information I'm bringing you all right now came from the 28th when James C. Burns, the voice actor for Frank Woods in the Call of Duty Black Ops franchise, posted this video in the Sergeant Frank Woods YouTube channel. I will provide a link in the description for you to go and view this 51 seconds of randomness at the end of today's video, but I am going to go ahead and talk of what we may be able to gather right now. In this video, a title card shows he's back, an annotation says good stuff is on its way, and the title of the video is what the future holds. Now, all of this is extremely interesting, and is potentially a hint coming from Treyarch stating that Woods is going to make a return in an upcoming Call of Duty release. Treyarch loves to tease its fans with everything concerning an upcoming game, and as of recent, that is the standing rumor that the next Call of Duty is going to be a Black Ops 3. And now it is truly official that the speculation train has indeed left the station, and it's getting really hard to tell at this point if they are releasing information that are actually are true and clues and hints concerning the upcoming game, or are they really just trying to mess with our minds at this point? And I do not know the answer to that question. However, in this video, Sergeant Wood's words in this video were not the only thing that they might be hinting at. His clothing might mean something as well. In this video, he is shown wearing this hat that is pictured on your screen right now. And because I am a true Call of Duty historian, I know that Treyarch loves to leave potential hints through people's clothing. Think of the Tacitus shirt that FPS Russia wore before Black Ops 2 released, and how it tied into the game. So, upon doing some research through YouTube and Google, I found that the hat he was wearing was from the 101st Airborne Division, known as the Screaming Eagles. The 101st are a United States Army and Infantry Division trained for air assault operations. They are most famous for its role in its D-Day landings, Operation Market Garden, and its action during the Battle of the Bulge and during the Vietnam War. In more recent times, the 101st was the first conventional unit to deploy in the war in Afghanistan and also fought heavily in Iraq. Now, the 101st Airborne is a name that may sound familiar to you for a variety of reasons. The 1998 movie Saving Private Ryan focused heavily on the 101st Airborne. The TV series Band of Brothers focused on them as well. Two Medal of Honor games, both Allied Assault and Frontline, feature the Screaming Eagles. And the 101st Airborne Division also relates to Call of Duty and the Black Ops franchise in two major ways. In Call of Duty 1, you play as Private Martin, a member of the 101st who parachutes into Normandy just before the invasion. Also, Jason Hudson, the CIA agent responsible for handling Mason, was a member of the 101st during the Korean War. So what does all this mean? How does this relate to Call of Duty 2015, or does it relate at all? Right now, there are four options that can really be looked at. Option one is that Treyarch are intentionally misleading us by giving us false information. Option two is that James C. Burns just decided to post a video at random and just happened to be wearing the hat because he chose to. Or the more likely of the two reasons are either the upcoming Call of Duty is going to be set in the past sometime during Sergeant Wood's time, potentially with the 101st. Or the upcoming release is going to be similar to Black Ops 2 and portions of the campaign are going to be set in the past while the rest of the game may take place in another time period. At this point, I am leaning toward that last option, but right now, I just don't know. We just don't know what the next Call of Duty is going to be. Will it even be Black Ops 3? Will it be World at War 2? Will it indeed be Borderlines? I just don't know. All I know is, now more than ever, I am hoping that Treyarch and Activision start releasing some official information, or I just might lose my mind before the next game releases. My name is Game 
Game Warrior, go ahead and choose your next video you are going to watch today by clicking one of the two images on your screen right now. On the left, we'll take you to a Call of Duty 2015 video in which I tell you about a research analysis that claimed Black Ops 3 was the upcoming Call of Duty for the year. And on the right is one of two live commentaries I have posted in the past week, which I jumped into a game of Black Ops 2 and had quite a bit of fun dominating the enemy team. So click on one of those two videos, and for the latest and greatest Call of Duty videos and Call of Duty 2015 information, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you always get the best videos on a daily basis. Be sure to comment down below to start in on the conversation and to ask me any questions that you may have. Also, be sure to click on that like button to help out this video, but most importantly, as always, I hope each and every one of you have a very good day.